like teeth. And you just know the difference. Well, this is a selection of teeth from different reptiles you get in the Kim region. Let's start off with, say, crocodiles. Well, that's a typical crocodile tooth, plesiosuchus. That's the root. And there's the tooth crown. You've got the tooth carina running at two sharp edges, in other words, and a beautiful wear facet where it's been feeding on hard prey. Okay, that's normally what we find. That's from a, a jaw, a partial jaw we found, but normally what you'd find is actually resorbed tooth. So there is one that's been ejected, and you see that it's not with the root. Um, they're really interesting because, again, you can see the wear facets on these things where the teeth actually, when they close, they close down like that. So it's a really tight, like a scissor action jaw. So that cuts through sort of flesh and bone. We get all sorts of crocodile though. That's a, a typical metarinca, that's called plesiosuchus. And there's another semi-crushed crocodile tooth. That's just the tooth crown again, um, from quite a big crocodile. Uh, you see it's already worn on the tip as well. So that's a another type of tooth. There's a, another crocodile tooth, again, different. You can see the ornamentation up the two crowns completely different. It's like a little way in the edges. No carina, just a, a long tooth crown. Okay. And um, then we get the really, really quite small, like steniosaur type teeth, little crocodile teeth like that. So you can imagine some are really big, some are feeding on fish, some are feeding on other reptiles. Um, and as with all crocodiles and reptiles, they get rid of their teeth when they're sort of worn out. And that one's a really good one. You can see again, the wear facet where the opposing tooth is actually polished that side of the tooth crown. But you can see the massive wear on that, where the, it's worn down to a stump before it's, it's ejected from the, from the jaw. So that's crocodile. So we get lots and lots, as I say, hundreds of lots of resorbed teeth, lots of those. Onto the sort of mega predator, the pliosaur as well. There's a incomplete tooth crown of a pliosaur. Um, this is from the lower Cambridge clay, and there's no this one you can see is it's got no sort of sharp edges up the tooth crown. Let's show you another one that probably demonstrates it better. You can see this one; it's got a these ridges that run up the apex of the tooth crown, and then this side is just very very smooth with this little bit of banding here and two crina that run up here. Um, this is only a very small tooth crown, but of course the, the grooves in there really are there for a reason to actually, when they bite through flesh, it actually gets the air in the little gaps of the holes and breaks the vacuum when the tooth goes into sort of flesh. But that's a typical Kimridgen pliosaur tooth, it's trihedral. Okay, but you see this one has not got those sort of very distinct sort of sharp edges on them. Okay. And then there's another one you can see which Again, from the lower Kimmage clay, you can see how that's worn really down to a, a stump again. Um, this was found actually in conjunction with the mandible. And then these little posted, same, same jaw, you can see this is one of the canines at the, towards the front, much bigger. And then towards the back, you get these little ratchet teeth because they're, they're anchored back that way because all they're doing is just assisting the food to go down the sort of gullet. They don't chew their food, they literally just rip it apart underwater and swallow flesh and bone all together. Okay, um, now ichthyosaurs, they're, they're mainly fish and squid feeders, but there's a set, set of teeth of those. Um, very sh short sort of tooth crown, okay. There's very distinguishing sort of root with these ridges that run down there. Um, some of these show where the new tooth would form. So in other words, there's one that's worn and the new tooth would be underneath like that. And as that one wears, this one pushes that out and this forms a new tooth. So they're quite, um, they're quite distinguished. There's nothing any sort of different than these really that, um, you know, all ichthyosaurs teeth look virtually the same. They might be bigger and smaller, but there's not a lot of difference. Plesiosaurs, again, pliosaurs, plesiosaurs, these, these are the sort of tooth crowns of the, a very specialised plesiosaur called Kimrosaurus. It's a sort of a recurved tooth. We've only got two of these. Um, you can see how sort of curved they are. There's no ornamentation. There's no ridges that run up the tooth crown. They're dead smooth. So that will tell us it's only Kimrosaurus that we find these 
dead smooth tooth crowns. The other ones have got ridges that run up the apex of the sort of tooth, like um, Kalimbosaurus and, and Plesiosaurus like that. So that really gives you a bit of a view of what we've got. I mean, I'm really interested in it, certainly in the wear facets that really um, are really interesting. But some of them, like that's a crocodile tooth, Machimosaurus. Um, you can see it's a very blunt tooth crown, so that will tell you probably it's feeding on hard shelled prey. It could be turtles or something like that, but sort of shelled prey. Whereas, you know, a typical pliosaur tooth could cut, crush, and pierce and do all sorts of things. So, some of them more specialised than others. And of course, as you may or may not be aware, we get the metarynchids, which are a group of uh, crocodiles that are actually marine crocodiles. In other words, they swim the oceans. They really probably only come ashore to perhaps lay eggs or whatever, but certainly they were smooth skinned, very specialized sort of dentition. Um, and look, and the front limb was developed more like an ichthyosaur flipper than, than a crocodile that we see today and living at that time. So that's the sort of, um, gives you an overview of really what we've got in the collection of sort of distinguishing teeth. That's all we've got for you today from the Etches collection. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more and hopefully we'll see you next time.